What do we see here? What do we see? We see that you have no idea how God wants to use one conversation, one word of encouragement, or one act of generosity to change someone's life. You have no idea when you invite someone to church how God is going to use that to continue to change someone's life. Why? Because it's not me. It's not the pastors. It's not the team. It's not Pete and Charmaine. It is you that make life change happen. You have no idea how God wants to use you with one conversation, one act of encouragement, and one act of generosity that can literally change someone's life. Let's take a look in Matthew. The book of Matthew says this very clear. Matthew says it this way. It says, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Listen to this. You are, who? You are the light of the world. You are the light of of the world. Not me. You are the light of the world. Do you know what's common in every single person's story of life change? What's common is someone else. What's common is someone else who encouraged them to come to church with them. Someone else who encouraged them to take a step of faith. Someone else who was a kind and generous. Someone else. What is common in every single story of life change is someone else. Why? Because the church uses us. The church uses you to make a difference in people's lives. It's all about what God wants to do in your life. He says that you are the light of the world. You're the light of the world. And we probably should give a shout out for bagels too. Come on, somebody. (laughs) What am I trying to say to you? I want you to embrace the reality that when God does something in someone else's life, it's because of what he's been doing in your life. I would encourage you with this idea. I want to encourage you the idea that this week you are an ambassador. You are a representative of God. God, you are a bright light shining in dark places. You are on assignment and you are on mission. You are God's representative in this world. And because God has loved you freely, you are free to love others deeply. That is the heart of the church. That is the mission of the church, that we would shine his light brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Is anybody with me this morning? Barbara was instrumental in Elena's life. What am I trying to tell you this morning? When you listen to someone who is hurting and you pray, you make it happen. When you invite someone to church for the first time, the second time, the third time, the 50th time, the 100th time, you make it happen. When you text someone a Bible verse, you make it happen. When you share a post from church about a sermon or about an event that's going on, you make it happen. When you show one small act of generosity, you make it happen. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. And here's the thing. These are just three stories out of the thousands of stories that happen here every single week week in and week out. I never want you to lose what God is doing right in our midst. I never want you to lose what God wants you to be a part of. And it's always just one small act. It's always just one conversation. It's always just one word of encouragement. It's always just one small act of generosity. It starts with the smallest thing because God uses you to change the world One life at a time, one smile at a time, one invite at a time, and one act of generosity at a time.